By end of business yesterday, the internet and social media had been blocked under the directive of the Uganda Communications Commission, UCC. Currently, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp and Viber are the latest trend of communication, and so putting them on a halt means a red card to sending and receiving information. This is not the first time the communications body is making such a move. The first time was on the 18th of February this year when Ugandans were casting their presidential and parliamentary ballots on grounds of bridging a security gap. But human rights defenders think otherwise. The blocking of the internet or social media, it has an element of uh, an rigid election. When the election failed to have results that had expressed views of Ugandans, the fear of the government is that citizens of this country are likely to organize using social media or the internet and cause an uprising like we saw in the Arab Spring. Now, our fear is uh, whether the institution of Uganda Communications Commission is working for Ugandans or is working for a specific group of people. Wokulila says UCC is abusing Ugandans' right and freedom of expression on top of its obligation to serve all Ugandans and snapping a finger on their economic activities. We need to go beyond what has happened and then look at the, effect, the economic effects of Ugandans who are able to have their deals discussed, do business, those whose lives thrive on online. So all those ones, who is going to compensate for that? Also shares with us his expectations of the seven government that has been sworn in this morning at Kololo Independence Grounds. As a citizen of this country, I am not sure if the president, like he promised that he's going to be hard on corrupt officials, we are not sure whether that is something to live by, by his government, because this is now the fourth time he's promising uh, stringent actions. So it's until when we have seen, we can't really give him even a benefit of doubt. President Museveni is swearing in today marks the beginning of his fifth term in the stewardship of the country's leadership for the next five years. 12 of May 2016 will forever be part of Uganda's history. Today, President Yoram Museveni was sworn in for his fifth term as the president of the Banana Republic. President Yoram Museveni has for many times been promising many things that will see Uganda to the next level. Now, is the time to see if indeed for these five years he will stand by his word. Joslyn Nachibole, WBS-TV, Kampala.